everybody. Magpie Cat here. How are my carcasses today? Yes, I'm keeping that name for all of you. Um, it's been a while since I've made a video. I know. I'm sorry. Kind of getting the motivation, working on my mental health. Um, but today I thought I'd do something that I'm kind of passionate about. This isn't talking about it. I know people kind of like come turtles and go into their shell because either they feel bad or they feel overwhelmed about it because I know sometimes I do. Um, I thought I'd talk about my eco-friendly products that I have with me um, and talk about how they are, I guess, if that makes any sense. Like, are they good? Are they bad? Most of the time they're really good, honestly. So I thought I'd do that. Some of them, there's going to be like girl products, so if you're a guy, I'll probably tell you when I'm about to talk about that and give you a time where you can skip ahead. If you're a guy and you're interested in it, I don't know why you'd be, but I guess stick around for that. <laughs> um, but yeah, I have some weird products with me. I didn't bring all of the products that I have just because there's so many and I think talking about them is just easier than showing them. Um, but I'd start off with the first product that I have, and it's called... Where this? Oh. <laughs> Drops. Da -da -da! These are really cool. They're laundry, stain plus odor detergent pods. Lavender eucalyptus. Um, everything on it is biodegradable, obviously. It's cardboard. Um, and recyclable. The pods inside, they don't leave any harsh chemicals. They're, they don't mess with the environment, you know? Um, they look like this. Basically like little pods. Um, I usually put two in just because they're not as strong, but yeah, I got a bunch of boxes of these. Let's see. Compatible with all machines, fights stains, brightens colors, eliminates odors, contains natural essential oils, cruelty free and vegan. So basically good for you, good for the environment. And I got a crap ton for oh, I wish I remember the prices. Maybe I'll add the prices up. Um they're worth it. I got them off Amazon. Um I guess maybe look up the site, drops. And there's 140 pods in just this, and I have like five of these for like $20, and <laughs> they last. They last a long time. Um, maybe look up the site and buy them off there, because Amazon's like, yes, yeah, so you got, you want eco-friendly stuff, well, we're going to put a bunch of plastic in here. You don't need the plastic. These are unbreakable items, but we're going to add a bunch of plastic in here. Sometimes I don't, sometimes I do. Just be wary of that if you're buying off Amazon, um, because it kind of can be pointless. The next item is <laughs> bamboo toothbrushes. Okay. Now, I know people always care about their teeth and they're like, well, I need to do this with my teeth. I need that. I need a vibrating toothbrush. Like, okay. I'm like, this is not me pressuring you. This is just me talking about what I like to use and look at these teeth. They're, they're perfectly healthy. They're happy. Um, it's 100% natural, soft charcoal bristles, BPA-free, biodegradable bamboo handle, box made from recycled material. Um, there's a bunch of places, or a bunch of little companies that sell bamboo toothbrushes. Just do a little bit of research. They seem good, and they seem, you know, natural, wonderful, and they are perfect for you, then definitely go for it. I think they're less expensive because you get a crap ton. Um, there's five in this one box. Um, this is the name. I don't know if you guys can see it unless I do that. Um, anyways, um, yeah. So, biodegradable mocks made from recycled material, soft bris bristles. Um, I'll bring it out. The board's like, well, what about splinters? I'm like, yeah, if you use this one toothbrush to the point where it's so, you know I said five? Well, they have, like, <laughs> multiple. Weird. I've never gotten one with, like, a white bristle. They might both be made out of charcoal. I don't know. Um, they're really smooth. 
I think they're really pretty too. So if you like aesthetics, then definitely. Um, yeah, I mean, if you use them to the point where they start um, splintering, then yeah, definitely just use a different one. Like, I don't know. <laughs> it's not that hard. I think people come up with some excuses that are kind of silly, but again, this video isn't me forcing my eco-friendliness on any of you. Can you go back into the box? This is me pushing it on any of you. This is just me sharing what I have and my experiences with them. I have very sensitive skin, so the laundry pods, you know, my skin's happy. Other than the humidity fucking messing with it. Um, bamboo toothbrushes. Look at these teeth. They love it. And they are really thin and soft, so they get right in between. If you're meant to have a very tough bristles, because your dentist recommend it, then yeah, I'd say, you know, maybe look up ones or just go with what you normally use. I don't know. I'm not going to force you guys to not use plastic. I mean, I still use plastic things. It's definitely one of those issues where you grew up with it, so not using plastic, it's definitely big steps. I'm proud of how far I've come and everything, getting over this, the anxiety part, which I know makes no sense. Um, but I'm happy with it. And I just show right here. Um, this is wood. It's a makeup brush. For a makeup brush, I know. Just, I think using wood is a lot better for the environment. That was just a quick one. I was like, oh, hey, makeup brushes. But even then, I have a plastic one. You know, can't do everything. Uh, next, um, which are my favorite, honestly. So there's this company called Ethics. Ethic. Ethic. I'm pretty sure it says Ethic. Um, they make a bunch of body stuff. So they have shampoo, conditioner, which I have used. And as a person with really thick, curly hair, it's not curly right now because my curls are big. So um, once my hair gets longer, those of you who know me and have seen me, you know what I'm talking about. They work really well. My scalp. I never get dandruff with them. Um, my hair is always really soft and smells so good. Um, and it feels clean afterwards. And it lasts so much longer than a piece of cruddy shampoo, especially when you have so much hair. Because shampoo, like, I have to use a lot if I want to reach every little inch of me. Because if I don't feel like there's suds or I have actual cleaning, it grosses me out. But with those, they set up really easily. It smells good. You know, you're, it's good for you and it's good for the environment. It comes in literally just eco-friendly thing. Even the stickers, like, I don't have one on here, but it looks like, look like a plastic sticker. They're like, yeah, the sticker is biodegradable too. Um, yeah, I don't have the shampoo and conditioner bars at the moment because I ran out because uh, my sister's kids, they thought it was like normal things. So they kind of got ruined is totally fine. It's my fault for not putting them into a safe place. Um, but even my sister used them and I used them so I recommend them. Ethic here. That's the name. The name. Hopefully it's not reading backwards for you guys. Um, this is Coconut Butter Block so it's basically body lotion. I probably use it really incorrectly. Um, if you really don't like the texture of lotion and it grosses you out, then, I mean, yeah, that's a lot, hold on. You really don't need a lot, and that's one of the things I like about it, so, um, see? It's a bar of lotion. It smells so good. This is coconut and lime. It smells like, um, one of those bread desserts, like one of those little cakes, you know? Um, yeah, it's a butter block, and the ingredients, you know, they, they, they're nice. Um, I'd read them all off, but all the product, or all the stuff in here, you know, good for the environment. I mean, as much as far as you can go as a human being using stuff. Um, here's the bar. I used like the tiniest amount and I probably didn't need to use that much on my hand because now it's like very lotion-y. <laughs> um, comes in a container like this. I love it. I genuinely love it. I don't use a lot of lotion, especially here because um, humidity already makes me feel like sticky and moist. Yeah. 
sticky and moist. So. Oh, anyways, um, now I just got a new product from them, and this one's kind of silly, but, you know, I hate, so I am a person that pretty much has the body of a man, and by that I mean I sweat a lot, I'm not saying all men sweat a lot, but I sweat so much. Like I said in probably in my other videos, I'm healthy, I just sweat a lot, it's just who I am. It's my little quirk, it's my cute little sexy quirk, sweating a whole bunch, and I definitely sweat a lot under here. Um, I haven't put any of this on right now. I probably should. Um, ain't no shame in body odor, you know. Um, I kind of tore the hell out of this because I was trying to learn how to use it, but it is a block of deodorant. Now, this deodorant isn't like, you know, the plastic ones where you barely touch it, it just fucking crumbles. No, this is a block, and it goes on really well, and it stays on. I was kind of shook, actually, because I was like, you know, natural products can only go so far. If they worked in the first place, why didn't companies do it? Because they're pieces of shit, and you're probably paying them way too much for the stuff that you're getting. This will save you money, um, by a long run. And it smells so good. It's not like super strong odor, of course, because it's an essential oil. Um, I got, I know what the name is, it's purple. It's that lavend lavender. Thank you. Thank you, baseball that's sitting over there. Um, yeah, botanical, solid deodorant, goes on really nicely, and I'm one of those people that layer it, because like I said, I'm a sweaty person, and I want to make sure that I smell fucking delicious. Um, yeah, and it's, I kind of crumbled just because I'm very rough with it, and I was trying to open the thing. Comes in a little plastic. Oh, this is all made in New Zealand, too, so, um, of course, do your research, because I don't know how, I don't really remember how they, um, make everything, if it's still ethical that way, but I'm pretty sure they wouldn't just use child labor or something, um, and I just saw in this box for the lotion, it says, palm oil free, which is very good, which is a very big step, Nutella, step up your goddamn game, anyways. Um, yeah, so I'm pretty sure this is palm oil free, too. Yo, it is! Wait. It is. Sorry, it's broken. See, here's the little sticker. It's biodegradable. It's really cool. Um, yeah. So, stay fresh and confident all day long without baking soda or aluminum instead of wondering ingredients. Keep sweating, smells away. It works. <laughs> I'm not just saying this to get you guys to just buy it. I'm just saying that it actually works, and it's gonna last me a long time um i mean i even went swimming in the river for like hours and i got out and i was like bro i wonder if my deodorant's still on i like sniffed i'm like it smells delicious to smell like river yes but it also still smelled delicious and i could still see that it was still on um so it's definitely waterproof um if you're a heavy sweater um layer it on you know you're still gonna save a lot more um if you just want to help yourself out money-wise, definitely buy it. Um, I'd go to the site instead of Amazon, of course. I should have done that, but I was buying multiple things at once because I get stressed and I end up tend to spend a bunch of money when I shouldn't. Something I need to work on with myself. Um, I like it. It smells good. Um, probably after this video, I'm going to apply it because it's a hot day. Um, yeah, and it says you're basically saving so much plastic, you know, um, and water actually, so, I don't know, that's what it says on the thing, but I recommend it, definitely just check ethics out, um, even, um, Bendy, Bendy, um, Crocodile Hunter's daughter, who I love dearly, um, I'm pretty sure she's actually the one that got me to look it up and use it, um, I'm just happy that I can actually use something that's good for the environment that works. It fucking works. <laughs> um, so shout out to them. Yeah. And I'm giving my honest review on everything. I'm not just going to be like, Hora, suck in their dick, you know. Um, all right. So lady products are coming up. I will put the time of when you can skip if you're a man and you don't want to hear about this. All right. So I got multiple products. 
I will say I haven't used these yet, but um, one of my buddies from Australia, she uses these, um, and she's the one who actually got me to do it. I don't remember what company she used, but I don't know if it matters. And it's this! <laughs> um, I haven't used it yet. I don't know how it's going to work with my body. Everybody's different, so if you ever want to test it out, it will save you money, and it'll make you feel a little bit safer when using it. Um, organic cup, so... I don't remember the company name, and that's kind of my fault, but I feel like you got a hand. You probably can use a computer better than me. Just do a little research. Um, just keeps your blood in. Saves on pads. Saves on plastic. Um, lasts for 12 hours, even with, I think, the heaviest flows. Um, I'm a heavy flower most of the time, so definitely we'll test this out. Maybe guys give, give you guys an update. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to use this. I will tell you guys how it works and if it hurts. Um, I got like the, the teen size because I'm not going to go into details on that. But next, which I'm excited to use, and it is Rael. Um, I just keep seeing commercials for it, but I think this is better than using, you know, other companies. I'm a very heavy flow, so I'll definitely guys keep you guys updated on this if you want me to. Like, if you guys want me to tell you about this so you guys can do it for yourself, just fucking leave a comment. I don't care. Um, so, made with responsible sources, certified organic cotton from Texas. So, it's not from some small country. Um, and 100% organic cotton top sheet, super absorbent core, um, maximum airflow, and it's non toxic, hyperallergenic um, for sensitive skin, leak locker technology. Um, so as security, I haven't started my period yet, um, but I'm definitely going to use this. And it's chlorine free and fragrance free. Why pads would have chlorine in them in the first place is kind of scary. Same with deodorant having aluminum in them. Yeah. So those are a few of my products. Um, I also have this wonderful thing, which I'm going to add a picture of right here, and it's to dry my clothes. I did that with my sheets because I had to wash them. It's hot here. It's very hot, so everything dries really fast, and it keeps, um, it's safer and better for your clothes, you know. If you love your clothes, then definitely get yourself one of these. Um, or just put up a wire. You guys know, you guys have seen them in movies. Um, dryer Air dryer. I don't know what to call it. Um, I also have silicone sponges, what I just bought. First off, silicone sponges are, they work. People are like, well, what about the suds? I'm like, the suds stay in, actually, um, depending on how close the little bristle things are. Um, they're safer for you, actually, especially if you don't have a dishwasher. Um, sponges keep a lot of bacteria in them, and they're just gross. I don't, I don't, I, I can't stand them. Um, silicone sponges work. Definitely do your research. They last definitely a lot longer. Um, check those out. I also have silicone spun or silicone straws. The reason I don't use metal straws is because I have very sensitive teeth, so it makes the water a lot drink a lot colder, which hurts my teeth. And it also ugh, the feeling. The feeling's gross. I don't like metal on my teeth. I'm one of those people, like when people scrape their pipes, oh, it's, it's gross. I don't like it at all. It bothers. It hurts. It actually physically hurts me to hear anything like that or feel it. Um, yeah, if I could just have silicone everything, I definitely would, especially when it comes to forks. They chip my tooth, which I fixed on a, <laughs> I was eating pizza with a fork. Go ahead, judge me. I don't care. Ah! Um, yeah, I was eating pizza with a fork and I bit down because I'm a fucking hungry ass bitch when it comes to pizza and I bit down on the fork and I almost vomited. It felt so disgusting. Um, so now I have kind of like an issue with forks. I'm weird. Um, yeah. Any other things that I use? Hmm. Bars of soap. Do your research, find something that's good for your skin. Bar of soap, bro. Just bar of soap. Don't go get the plastic shit. That's bad for you anyways. It dries out your skin. It doesn't work. Find a small company. Find a small little business, you know. Friends, family who make their own goddamn soap out of... You just ask them what the ingredients are and use them. They last a lot longer. They smell really good. My skin's always super soft. 
Um, I was using Anthropology's soaps and everything, but um, it's kind of, I guess, toxic now, so... And I don't want to order online from them anyways, because they are really expensive. Their soaps are really good, though. Handmade, um, with love and care, but... Definitely just find smaller businesses, support your friends, support just people, normal people like you and me who are making soaps, putting their free time and their art into it, and you'll find really good things. Um, especially ones that have like exfoliators in it. Ladies who want to like shave their legs and they don't want to have those like little, they're called strawberry seeds and you want to have just nice smooth legs, I recommend that. Um, I should shave my legs, but I'm not gonna because I don't care right now. <laughs> Um, TMI? No, it's not. Um, yeah, even with just homemade, just honestly, even if you're just, there's people out there who are just like you and me who make stuff like this anyways. If you don't want to support ethic, then go support them. Oh, so good. <sighs> anyways, um, put it on this hand, actually. Uh, it's this hand, sorry, I don't know. Um, but yeah, um, any more objects that I have? trying to use cleaner that's more eco-friendly, but at the moment I think I'd actually want stuff that kills fucking germs. Um, wear a mask. You know? Like I said, go support people who make masks! And even if you don't feel like there's things safe, get a surgical mask and just wear that in there along with that. I bought one, I had um, this one chick who makes a lot of really pretty charms and stuff for me. I don't have any in here at the moment. Cuckoo bananas. Actually, Nope. Oh, I do have these from another person. Aren't this fucking gorgeous? She, um, I was like, I want to support you because I love you and you're just so talented. Um, I'm actually having, I can't remember her name on there. Ah, um, she's crocheted me a mask. It hasn't gotten here yet because, you know, people are busy. You know, I don't expect it to be here as soon as possible with everything going on. But it's crocheted and... I don't know how that would work really well, but it's beautiful. It's like, it's like daisy yellow. Like it's yellow, it's a good yellow, it's golden yellow, it's delicious. Um, and so I have my own surgical mask, which I kept. Um, just put that on, put that over it, protects the mask, it looks pretty. Um, I'll probably wash it. Um, I don't know how it'll work, but you know, just support people who make normal masks and everything. And I can't think of any of the other products that I use. Um, I have like a cologne. Yes, I wear cologne. It smells super good. It has like sagebrush and it's made in America. It's a glass bottle and it has essential oils in it. So I fucking spray it in my hair. I spray it everywhere. Not everywhere. Um, yeah, I genuinely think everybody should just do their own thing. If removing plastic from your life is stressful, you know, don't feel like you have to do it all at once. If it's just one thing at a time, do it. I mean, mine first started out with bamboo toothbrushes, and then it went to shampoo and everything. Um, take your time um, with just removing plastic from your life. You're not pressured. Nobody's going to police you to do it. Just something to think about, and like I said... All the stuff I've used have not been disappointing um, at all. So, yeah, and I think I'll probably just end that video here. I hope you guys liked it. It's probably really short. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, see you carcasses later.